we need this in everything now. Maybe some leg warmers too? Oh, don't mind that. It's just thunderstorming, no big deal. <laughs> Fantastic day to finish this up. Minnesota Yarn Shop Hop, year three of me participating in this, of just being a fiber enthusiast and wanting to walk through all 12 shops, see the colorway, see the pattern, all the decoration, everything all together. You would think by now I'd have everything kind of just like some general plan of hitting up all 12 shops. No, that is not the thing. I did not make it to all 12. I only made it to two this year. However, this was definitely the most relaxing and enjoyable time that I've had at this event. Very lucky in that these yarn shops are local to me. So it's not like I had to drive to come to all 12 of these shops because I know there's a lot of people that do and they get together with their friends who are either out of town or out of state even. Fly in, come have a day of it, start at 10 in the morning on Thursday and by six at night they're done and they have their finisher button. It's just not my journey, I guess. It's just not what it is. I tried to do it the very first year and that was so stressful, which kind of defeated the purpose. Okay, here is the main thing and like the reason why it doesn't work for me is because this hop has a theme and I am a sucker for a theme, a theme of anything, theme of movies, theme of decoration, but yarn. So I take my time and a lot of the shops had the fiber artists there that dyed their special colorway. So obviously I'm gonna take up the opportunity and have a little chit chat with that human, talk about the yarn, see what else they have going on, which is just not very conducive of the flow of the day, right? Like there were some shops that I was there for a couple of hours, other ones it would be 45 minutes and pretty much all of that was spent chit chatting or looking at the yarn so I've just accepted it like this shop I've just designed it made it my own really I would love to have gotten every single button from the shop because that's what they did this year is tote bags little stars represent every single shop you got a button from each shop and then people put the button on here. I only got one. The second shop I was just so excited to go into, which was Knit and Bolts, that I completely forgot my bag. I forgot the button and I forgot the little punch. There's like a, a little pass that you get. And then you get a stamp at every single one. That's how they know at the end that you're a finisher, you get a button. Yeah, I didn't even bring it in. I was just excited. I wanted to see the yarn. I saw <laughs> that the fiber artist was there. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go. Got in my car afterwards. And I was like, what? The actual heck, Kayla, you didn't even get the button. Is what it is, we're moving on. I still had a great freaking time. The theme this year was fairy tales. Every single shop has to have that overarching theme, but within that can decide what fairy tale they want to go with, the direction, the colorway, the pattern, like what all that they want to do. Muse 2320 is the only one that I saw the inspiration picture for. This was on Instagram and I was like, yes. I am going here first because that red right there, chances are I'm gonna see that in yarn form and that's my freaking color. I want everything in that color. I already have quite a few reds from Muse 2320. Like this one is called Slushy. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on this. Whenever they have this in stock, I load up the yarn dungeon with it and I don't even have any plans with it. So I went there first on Thursday, 10 in the morning, the window was all decorated. There was a little wolf hanging. There was a little saying underneath, walked through the door and realized, oh my gosh, they did five different specialty colorways, not just one, five freaking colors and all of them together were just so gorgeous. What I thought would be amazing was all of them together to make a really long cape. Sadly, I have found out recently that I am allergic to alpaca and this had Surrey alpaca in it. So I wasn't able to get any of the specialty colorways. It was a combination. So there was two different hanks in there twisted up together in this super big chunky hank of yarn. They looked gorgeous. There were shadow boxes with baskets underneath that had the yarn in it. There was also a huge wall of just all of the extra yarn, which didn't last long. So Muse 2320 is a small batch hand dyed yarn artist. However, for this, I mean, there's a ton of people coming through. They had a whole wall filled with this yarn. And even still by the end of Friday, it was gone. I mean, there are just so many people that walk through this yarn shop hop and that's 
everybody wants the specialty colorway because there's a particular pattern that goes with it as well and not just one muse 2320 did two different patterns and both crochet and knit version so i only grabbed the actually i only grabbed one of them there was a hood and there was a cowl I just kind of zoned in on the hood and that was it for me because i was like yes i'm making that today this is actually available on ravelry too for free right now it's not going to be free forever but this is just their way of celebrating the yarn shop hop. Also, the colorways are up on their site right now too. This is something that'll probably close anywhere from seven to 10 days from now. So it's not open for a very long time. There is time to get in on it and make your own Little Red Riding Hood inspired hood. This was their logo for the entire weekend, a bunch of books all stacked up. And then right underneath it, all of the colorways available. Like, look at that green. It is so ridiculous. What was that one called again? Pretty Followers Everywhere, Cottage Wallpaper, and Northern Sky. So freaking gorgeous. Oh, and then underneath there too, Sci Fiber just in case you haven't gotten into that yet. And you wanna make some sci-fi inspired socks or there's also a DK weight available too. There's a lot of things happening on the Muse 2320 site right now. The green one is called Into the Woods. That's what I was looking for. The green next to the red was just freaking stunning. So yeah, all of these together and made maybe like a patchwork type of cape. Oh my gosh, that would have been so amazing. But yes, sadly, I am allergic to Surrey alpaca. So add it onto the list of things. Mohair and Surrey alpaca. It's just very, very sad days. I have quite a few cardigans that I've made with Surrey alpaca that now I have to gift away because I cannot wear it without my eyes getting all puffy. But anyways, the people that were able to use the Surrey alpaca, the stuff was just flew off the shelves and like I said by Friday everything was gone which is why Thursday is kind of a crazy day there's so many people going from shop to shop even though I couldn't use the yarn I did want to make the hood and there is the cowl adaptation on the one page so I haven't been to the Ravelry site yet but I'm assuming that's how it is it's just all together it's a very beginner friendly type of project which is awesome and I was able to get quite a bit of it done this weekend actually. So this is stuff from Muse 2320 that I have around just all the time. Bumblebee Schlub in the color slushy. whenever she has a pan of this going, I'm like, okay, when is it ready? Because I would like to grab a couple of hanks. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I need it. The slushy color is just amazing. And then Vintage Vinyl, this one is in a fingering weight yarn. It's just a fantastic base to have. Put them together. I want so many things with this now. As I was working this up though, all I could think of for the bumblebee schlub, the little texture bits that are like popping out of it, it looks like blood clots, <laughs> which made me love this hood even more. I have to get this to 15 inches. I think I'm about maybe 10 or nine, but it's gonna go like this. Look at that. Stop with how freaking cute this is. So this part is gonna connect together. I just need it to go up a little bit further. Oh, the reason I chose the hood over the cowl, I am gonna do the cowl eventually, like don't get me wrong, but I figured that way I would have an accessory ready for Halloween. So I could go as Little Red Riding Hood for something. All I need to do is get a dress, a basket. I already have the hood ready. There we go, one costume down. But yes, the Bumblebee Schlub, I cannot speak highly enough about this stuff, and especially if you're a horror fan, here you go. Vintage Vinyl, Bumblebee Schlub. I did end up actually getting some yarn from Muse 2320. First up is this mini bundle, which I'm a sucker for mini bundles. All of them together, the colorway is called Peacock. I caked these three up with the intention of putting them together with the Vintage Vinyl and doing like a Beetlejuice themed pair of socks. At the moment, I'm working with my river, so I thought it'd be fun to have just some new colors to work with that. The other two Hanks, they'll get used for something. I don't know, I have a lot of blue that this would go with. Maybe this will actually end up going with the pair of Beetlejuice socks. It's very mossy looking. So I guess I should probably just cake that one up too. She also had a brand new addition to the Muse Brews, which is their line of specialty teas, Granny's Blackberry Tea. 
quite a few blends there too, not just this one. Smells and tastes kind of like blackberry cobbler without the sugar. Black tea, natural blackberry flavor, raspberry leaves, and it's what I'm drinking right now. I really should have got two of them, but there wasn't that many available. So again, I didn't want to be that person that like took two of the tea when I live fairly close. And hopefully this will be something that they have in their shop. It's just pure happiness in a cup. And I don't really have that many black teas. I have a ton of green and a ton of herbal, but at the moment, I think I only have two black teas and they're just plain. There's like nothing else in it. This is a must for me. Any of the tea that they have really, I'm at least game to try. They had little tiny shakers so you could smell what the tea was like. But I did notice a lot of people, they were just like me, not even smelling it, just looked at it, saw the label and was like, okay, well, this goes with my yarn, my pattern. I'm going to make a whole day of it, which is what I did on Thursday night. Came home, crocheted that up, made about, I don't even know, three pots of this. <laughs> so we're coming down to the end of this bag. Totally worth it. And my yarn dungeon smelled amazing. The other two Hanks that I got had absolutely nothing to do with the theme. They are just new colors that I have not seen. So this one, okay, in fairness, I've seen this colorway, but I hadn't seen it on this super bouncy type of yarn. This is called Timber Doodle. There's 240 yards in here, 100 gram. It's 100% super wash merino wool. Initially, I was gonna use this for my hood and hold this together with vintage vinyl. But then I found the slushy and I changed my mind. So I think I'm gonna do the cowl in this version. And lastly, it's a kind of magic. Pippet DK weights. Very hocus pocus Sarah vibes right there. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this one. It was just super fun and there was only one hank. It just hanging right in the middle. When I walked through the door, there was a highlighter color, which is exactly what it sounds like. Intense, in your face, fluorescent yellow, and then this right underneath it. The label was out like this. So all I saw was the name and I'm like, yes. I honestly can't believe that I haven't caked this up yet to see all the speckles unfold in this colorway. I love hand dyed speckly yarn. Just every single colorway is totally different too. Or maybe I could just hold these two together and make kind of a hocus pocus vibe cowl. I don't know, what do we think? 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. There's 245 yards in this or 100 grams. So that was my experience on Thursday for Muse 2320. After I stopped and got a coffee, I headed over to Knit and Vaults because I heard that their theme was Baba Yaga. The amount of excitement that I had for this colorway. I didn't even care what it was. Like if it was alpaca, mohair, did not matter. I just had to see this in person. The fiber artist, Susan, was there. So I was able to chit chat with Susie, talk about the colorway and how every single one of them were different. Like, you know, just in general, hand dyed yarn, obviously every batch is going to be different, but every single hank had its own characteristics. The greens, the browns, how they all interacted with each other. Every hank had its own personality, which was so freaking cool. Their sign for the Baba Yaga was amazing. So incredibly sad that it was alpaca and I wasn't able to get it. Otherwise, believe that I would have gotten enough to make at least a cardigan. The pattern was a pair of fingerless mitts and you can really see the colorway just unfold. This is also up on Knit and Bolts as a pre-order. It doesn't say when they're going to cancel it. I mean, fingerless mitts, you can never have too many any of those. I know I can't anyways. It's like blankets. I can always find a use for another pair of fingerless mitts. And when people ask you about it, you can say, yes, these are my Baba Yaga fingerless mitts. Great conversation starter. To finish out my yarn shop experience of 2024, I ended up going back to Hastings, Minnesota on Sunday. In fairness, they had an event planned from two to four, which was 
the absolute last hours of this shop at a local brewery called Spira Brewery. The event was named Brew and Ew, and there was a baby sheep there. This was the best way to end it, in my opinion, because everyone had just come off of doing the hop and however they did it. And it's very hard to chit chat with other shop hoppers during the event because we're all going different pace. Some of us are hanging out longer at a shop, me chit chatting where others wanted to go, go, go. But here it was the end. So we just took over this brewery, fibers spread over every single table and talked about current projects, future projects from all of the yarn that we had just found. Basically the best case scenario of ending this shop hop. But very thankful for the people that put that extra portion onto the yarn shop hop. But that was my experience. Even though I only made it to two out of the 12 shops, the people that I was able to meet and chit chat with, honestly, this was one of my favorite years. Don't forget to check out this hood pattern. Maybe check out this combination of colors. I don't know, obviously I'm partial. These are my favorite, but there is a ton of combinations for other colorways as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video.